everybody. So today I'm on a quest for more pottery. I just ended work. I end work at five o'clock Monday through Fridays and I am actually in Fort Lauderdale staying at my dad's um, because I have a lot of inventory there and I need to kind of fix everything up there. Anyway, long story short, I have to go look for some studio pottery. So I have a little bit of time. The Goodwill in Fort Lauderdale here, Oakland Park, actually. It's really Oakland Park, but it's like close to Fort Lauderdale. They close, I believe, at 8 p.m. on Mondays, 8 or 9. But I'm just looking for some studio pottery because I think that I'm going to create a pottery corner on my website, www.jollyflips.com. Oh, I'm sorry, www.jollyflipsvintage.com. And I'm going to just do a pottery corner. And I, I just love pottery. So I want to bring that to you all. So, yeah, I'm on the hunt for some cool pieces. So let's go check out what Fort Lauderdale Goodwill or Oakland Park in Fort Lauderdale Goodwill has to offer. It's only about five minutes away. Let's go. Here we are at the Goodwill Superstore. And I'm kind of excited. Let's see. This particular Goodwill does not wrap items. So make sure that if you do come to this Goodwill Superstore, Oakland Park slash Fort Lauderdale, that you bring your own bags. They, do, I think they do sell some bags. And that you um, be very careful when you walk out with your items, should they be super fragile. Let's go in there and see what they have so that we can try to flip it for profit. $10.99 Oakland Park Boulevard. Gonna grab a cart here. This looks good. Okay, gonna make my way down to the hard goods section. Clothes, scarves, shoes are all up front behind the counter. Ooh, look at this scarf. Very Navajo style. Ooh, Puma? Does Puma sell well still? Not sure. Well, look at this little crossbody bag. Let's see, side. It feels really soft. This chain is kind of getting stuck in the magnet. It's only $4. It's pretty clean inside. Let's look. Very clean. I'm gonna pop it in here. I don't think it's any particular brand. Let's look around the corner. Oh, this is pretty. Very shiny. Is it Betsy Johnson? Let's see. No, oh, it's Aldo. It says Aldo. We want 15 for it. Eh, pass. Can't resell it for that. Oh, well, this is cute. I have a bigger one like this, so this feels kind of flimsy, kind of cheap. Yeah, no, no. It's nice, but uh, I'm going to leave it. They have like a dining room set up when you walk in. Items staged a cool purple vase. There's two of them. Something design. This is very modern. Very heavy, y'all. Wow, this chair is really, really cool. Very mid-century modern, I think. Doesn't have a price on it, but I have nowhere to put a chair. <laughs> But it is really nice. This is cool. This is a hand painted something oriental on it. There's no price on it. I may revisit this. This particular Goodwill does not sell anything to you if there is no price. So we'll leave it for now. The racks came out. Here's an hourglass. Not very exciting. It's here. Oh, look at this. It's like studio art, 
hand painted 1996 only a dollar there's two of them look at that signature right there roses a very popular pattern gonna take it it's cool spoon rest gonna like a mexican pottery mm, terracotta eh. not signed or anything this is cool very very modern Lots of crazing, some chips. What is this? Paper towel holder and this is cool. This is carved wood. It's like a bull and a dude. No signature on it. This is pretty. I like dark blue navy. This is like a mass produced, very modern piece. Cool though, but I'll leave it. Let's make our way to the shelves and I see this here. This cat has marble for eyes. It's terracotta made in Mexico, only $2. Looks like it did sell recently. I like it. There's a little crack on the side, but I mean, it's really cool. It's like a candle lantern. The marble eyes are getting to me. I have to get it. Oh, little coin bank pig pottery missing the stopper, but uh, $2. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take it. I like the floral design on each side, on both sides. A very modern piece I don't even know why I'm picking this up I'm not I don't even like it but I think I was attracted to the periwinkle blue color this is a cool rhinestone picture frame tins are like hot items on whatnot people are always asking me for vintage tins um, gonna pick it up open it up first and it looks clean inside We'll take that. There's another one I see here. Wow. Very ornate tins. I'm gonna take them. I thought this is one too, but nope, doesn't look like it. This is like buttons. This pottery's not not really good. <laughs> it's a little rough. It's not signed, but I like where they're going with it, with the button design. I'll pass. Don't know what this is. Project piece. Pass. What else? Ooh, look at these pumpkins. I've seen this before. I think there's another one. The bottom shelf. It's just neat. This is like... A kind of a paperweight four dollars they want for mother of pearl pop it in here and see what it's worth but I don't think it's worth much Let's see what this glass piece here is I have a lot of pieces like this so I'm gonna pass um oh hug mug thought you could use one cool that's really nice Cherub's glass tea light holder. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, I don't know. I saw this last time. I'm looking for pottery pieces. That's why we're here. This is signed 1986. I'm going to put it... I guess I'm going to put it in my cart for now. It was made on the year that I was born. <laughs> $4 on it. Let's put it in my card and then I'll think about it. I don't know that I like the top design. I like a smoother edge. This is really weird color splash unicorn. <laughs> mm, yeah. The spaghetti dog is cool, but oh man, I so want to pick this up despite the huge crack right there. That huge gash. With this little one of his ear flopped over. 
It's too bad that crack's bothering me though. Not, not a pretty pot here. I don't like it. Ooh, look at these little dogs. Two dollars. That puzzle dog. This Westy. Now that's a Royal Dalton dog. And I think that is a very valuable piece. Uh, for just a few dollars, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Some toilet. Some bathroom stuff. So I like this one. This one is very whimsical. Kind of reminds me of, I forget the name of the artist. Um, I like it, it's signed by the artist. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it because it's so irregular and it's so colorful and I might put it in my summer show on whatnot. My summer sol solstice show is coming up in June, you guys. Get on whatnot and bookmark my show. Lots of fun. This is a Viking piece. Wow, a lavender Viking bowl, glass bowl, with the sticker on it. Taking it for sure. Yeah, what else do I have here? The little um, chick, chick platter still there, modern. Mm, nope. Definitely not good quality. Like the shape though. Ooh, this is pretty. Does it say there? The crack is bothering me though. I can't do it. No. This is pretty. I like all the colors. It's not signed. Let's see up here. This is a nice piece. I thought it was Viking glass, but it could be. I don't know. I thought this was pottery, but it's actually plastic. This is plastic. It feels like plastic. This lightning bowl is still here. It reminds me of TCB Elvis. You know, if you know, you know. These are Pier 1 swirl um, plates. I have a set of six of these. Otherwise, I would pick it up, you guys. These are Bolo. Be on the lookout. These plates are very, very desirable. These are cool. These are tomato bowls. You know, buy what, what you feel is selling in your area. Plates don't sell too much for me, uh, like kitchen, stuff like that. This, however, may, because that is some kind of vintage light green blue glass that I will pick up. It's footed. People like footed bowls. I don't know what that is. Um, let's go down here. Lots of clear glass. Oh, these are kind of whimsical. There's a set of three though. Lots of threes at Goodwill. This is really pretty. It's, it is pottery. It's for like incense and candles. Oh, this is so cute. Little bunny made in China, though. Still cute, though. Hopefully someone picks that up soon. Let's see down here. Oh, what? Oh, I... This is resin. It's not well... It's not a... Not well made, but it's not a very good piece. This amber plate is nice. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Making our way over to the kitchenware. This is like a Turkish coffee pot, I think. I already have one, like mini little pot like that with a handle. This is Pottery Barn. Cool. Wow, look at this. This is like aluminum, an aluminum platter. 
made in Mexico. Nice. Aluminum. Some information to this art piece. Alumart. They want $10 for it. I really, uh, let me pass because I did just recently sell a Mariposa aluminum tray, but it took me like six months to sell it for $40. This is a very MCM unique ice bucket. Has the tongs in there. It's missing the handle, which is not a big deal. Hmm. Oh, it used to be $90. They want $10 for it. See that price tag, 90? I'm gonna go ahead and pass because I think it's selling abundantly on uh, eBay and other selling platforms. It is a really cool piece though. Super cool. Yet another metal platter. I like them. I'm just not good at selling those. This is like a black bark. Black branch, I'm not sure. These wooden bowls are another thing. I used to pick them up all the time. They do not sell. They're made abundantly in Haiti. And um, they're not signed or anything. Oh, look at this. Fooled me. Oh, it's one of those things, the art pieces, where they just stick all the platters together. I don't really understand that art. I don't, I don't particularly like it either. When they do it with plates. <laughs> this is brass. Let's see what else here. Ooh, I always love shell mirrors. I have a lot of shells, so I kind of admire when people actually get one done. <laughs> like I have not been able to sit down for a second to do any kind of shell art. What is this? It is unclear what beach that is. This coffee table is super cool. The price tag on it is only $25. This sold for way more than that. In the past, there's another navy blue modern vase. I'm just attracted to blue, especially dark blues see down here yes I am revisiting the front end cap <laughs> just want to make sure I didn't miss anything these are really cool uh, hand-painted stoneware mm, done with mugs though this is really nice gold leaf it's a teleflora uh, floral store floral store piece See. Sugar bowl is really nice. I like that kind of like Greek pattern. What do they call it? Greek key pattern. Uh, so actually um melamine. <laughs> I really want to get the spaghetti dog, but that crack. No more bells for me. Bells do not sell well for me, but pretty made in China Let's see this is a nice glass piece it says flow which means flowers in French at this point I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything this is Avon it's an Avon piece cottage design oh this teddy bear is cute i already have a teddy bear bank though that i'm trying to sell so i'm gonna leave that let's see what else pretty i picked this up last time also but i'm also maxed out with the teapots this is really pretty check this out it was clearance for $15. It's missing the lid. Home goods. And guess what they want? They want $15 for it. <laughs> they, 
things like that kind of crack me up a little bit. These are cool MCM um, salt and pepper shakers. I like the little donut shape. I'm kind of going to work fast here because I see people coming towards the rack. So, no, not that. nice ashtray but i don't know who makes it but i have enough ashtrays look at this you guys i don't know if that's blanco or what that is but we'll put it in there definitely taking that kettle one copper mugs little mini one in there let's see what's on this side Drum. I don't know if this is worth anything, so I'm going to put it in here. Let's just put it in here. You never know. We'll look that up. This is made to look vintage or antique, but it is not. Um... is this whoa this is like a really antique jewelry box wow ooh it smells like a haunted house super old it's got a hinge problem but for six dollars the wood is cracked all around too but those very old leaves in the front there is getting me. I have to get that. Let's see what else is in here. Digging in here. I see something. I'm going to put the phone down for a second. Sorry, guys. This little flower here has a little chip on it with a little spoon in there, though. Look how much it sold for about $22. All right, so we dug through the rack. I think it's time to get going. These are kind of fun. Don't know what the brand is. These are Michael Kors. Those are really nice. I don't know what Michael Kors is going for these days. This is not really my forte. I'm trying to dabble in fashion, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for coming out with me. This was a lot of fun. This is my local Goodwill where my dad lives, so in Fort Lauderdale. So that is mainly where my whatnot shows will be at. So I'm going to have to get used to coming to this Goodwill. I also go to the one in Boca, Loggers Run, and West Boca where Adam's dad is at. So we, we switch houses. We go back and forth. So, But we are very excited with what's to come with our YouTube uh, reaching over 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We can go live now. So very excited about that. We're gonna attempt to do that very soon. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you saw me thrift that you would like to purchase, please email me at jolieflips at aol.com. Just describe the item. I'm sure I'll remember which one. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.